All right, guys, Good Old Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here looking at the uh, upcoming CAR 15 build. Now, if you remember, I took this thing out onto the range, and we had a lot of fun with it. Did like a little bit of an accuracy test with it. Dialed this thing, and man, I got my ass handed to me about uh, using the elevation knob on this uh, carry handle. But in any case, <laughs> I'm not too concerned about that because we're actually going to take that thing off. And we will do a block of instruction on the proper way of dialing this thing in. And to be honest with you, I didn't have my front sight tool and I didn't have the time. That's the reason why I went ahead and did that. Okay. Uh, another thing is, is down the road, we're going to go ahead and pull this guy off. This is the Mission First Tactical uh, Brace. And I promised this to one of the viewers. It's pretty cool. I'm going to get that out into the mail this week. All right. So the next step in the car 15 build, what do we want to do? Well, I want to get rid of this guy right here. And one of the ways I'm going to do it is I'm going to put this thing right here. This is an AR-15 drop-in carbine length rail system from the guys over at UTG Pro. This is 661 T6 aluminum, uh, mil spec, standard 1913 Picatinny rail. It is a drop-in quad rail, which is kind of cool because that's what I want. I wanted something that's a little bit... Well, I just want something that's a little bit more than anything. Well, let me just go ahead and show you something, man. This is a rifle that I've had for quite some time now. Matter of fact, this was this is a Barnes Precision. And uh, right out of uh, North Carolina down there, if you can see, it's got a embossed North Carolina flag on the front. Love these guys. Uh, Andrew Barnes. And I liked uh the quad rail so much that i've actually have this particular quad rail on several of my rifles including this guy right here and we've officially nicknamed this guy the hoss and it is nicknamed after a very good friend of mine hoss uh who was in the third range battalion the guy's got like seven bullet holes in him <laughs> well i tell you what man very cool dude in any case uh that's what i i, I done let, let me see I probably installed one of these at least on three or four rifles so far. So what I wanted to do was follow that up with installation on this guy. Now I got this bad boy from the guys over here at Optics Planet. For your 5% discount code, use KB32 tag. That's right. 5% discount code. Pretty much covers the shipping. This guy right here is $47.19. I'm going to give you guys a little hint. If it says check availability, that's going to give you your first thing. Do not go ahead and order something until it's available two or three-day shipping, okay? If it says, uh, this one I think is three to four weeks for availability. I've had this guy for quite some time now. And, uh, yeah, that's the secret to Optics Planet. <laughs> if you got to check availability and if it's not immediately ready for install, well, uh, or delivery or mailing, then you're going to have an issue. Now, the cool thing about this particular model right here, the UTG Pro, it is made right there in the United States of America. And it's made over there somewhere in Michigan. I can't remember the exact location. But anyway, it comes with a quad rail just like this. And I actually did bring... Well, I thought I had my scales. Hold on. All right, so we got our scales here. And what we want to do is I wanted to weigh out the rail system and this guy weighs 11.5 ounces now that is without these little pick rail covers uh not really a big fan of those so we just kind of put those in a bag send them on down the road but let's go ahead and do this i am going to take and it does come with a allen wrench but i don't know what in the world i did with that but what we'll do is we will take our trusty screwdriver and allen wrench set and we'll put that on now the first thing we're going to do go ahead clear the firearm she is cleared and we will remove the upper and lower handguard sections here now, remember the last time i did this i split my damn finger open i ain't gonna do that again there there we go ain't she pretty we'll go through there nice all right Go ahead and take those away. Let's go ahead and get the proper Allen wrench set over here and get this thing started. And the cool thing about the drop in unit is that they are so easy to install. They really are. All you got to do is you got four screws. They go here, here, and here. And it basically installs just like the hand guards do. You got an upper and a lower, which you will know because your screws will 
tighten in from the top. You do have the screw sections in here if you ever needed to put any kind of special attachment on there. These are threaded. Okay. And you can see right there. Anodized. Absolutely perfect. I love these things. All right. So what we're going to do to install it, you're going to take the top section first. We're going to go ahead and bring that delta ring back. And you're just going to fillet that bad boy in there just like that. And it does take a little bit of finagling to get it in there per per perfectly. But just <laughs> there it is. Oh, man, it's getting more more better all the time. Now what we're going to do is the same thing to the bottom section, and it will do just like this. There. Move that down. There we go. Ta-da. And it fits on just like that. Look at that guy. Now, doesn't that look good for $47.19 and your 5% discount code with KB32 tag. <laughs> There's a lot of other rail systems out there that are nice as well. Midwest Industries has some. Uh, you've got also Knight's Armament, which I was actually going to be taking a look at getting some. But guys, this is an economy build. This is not a high-end build, so I'm not really going to put any real type money into this thing. Just snug those down. Probably wouldn't hurt to put some a uh, little bit of blue Loctite on those guys. And there you go. Pretty cool little addition to that firearm. Makes it look really cool. And uh, when we do get the extended flash hider, it'll be really cool. And guys, a lot of people ask me when we first started doing, looking at this thing, I talked about putting the flash hard. I said, why don't you just get a 16 inch barrel? This is actually a 14.7 with a pin and welded. Man, and this is nice. I got plenty of those. I want one of these. Skittle Boy 32, that's it. Uh, the UTG Pro, uh, $47.19 over there at Optics Planet. Skittle Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hammer to done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. And God bless those guys on Memorial Day who didn't make it back to sea and be with their families. I'm Coda Boy 32, and I am out of here. Y'all be good.